27 DSRL used, 2012 Jayco White Hawk here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. <gasps> oh, that's a big, that's a big mouthful. This is um, one owner, originally sold right here from Halet RV. Pretty late model, excellent shape. So the question naturally is, well, if, if it's, it's so nice, then why would somebody want to swap it out for something else? Long story short, they did a little traveling around, they found a campsite they loved and decided that they were spending a lot of time there and wanted to go bigger. So they swapped this out for a 38 foot uh, travel trailer that's made for keeping park somewhere. So you guys are going to get uh, a very well kept, used lightweight here that is perfect for traveling at a very good used price tag. Now uh, Whitehawk is a member of the Jayco family and anytime you talk about Jayco travel trailers the first thing you got to do is talk about the J-Flight. That is the number one selling series of travel trailers since 05 and counting. The White Hawk is literally just the ultralight version of that camper and uh, I'll, I'll kind of point out the, the differences and similarities as we go here and especially go through and, and uh, normally I'd say well in these videos I'd point out a couple flaws and defects here and there. I don't find any on this camper. This is a nice clean piece. Um, a signature point of the White Hawk series is the, the extra large front um, compartment here. Now, uh, this is specially built to accommodate the little college kid mini fridge or dad's medicine cabinet, depending on, you know, your own personal use for it. Um, you know, good for traditional pop or the barley variety, if you're following my meaning. Now, uh, you're going to find basically anything and everything that came with this camper is present and accounted for. The full bumper mount grill kit and everything, this was used, but it's here. A lot of folks keep those on their second camper. They won't trade those in. This is extremely well equipped. We have a push button power awning, push button power stabilizer jacks, push button power tongue jack push button everything you don't have to spend time monkeying around your campsite setting this thing up it's good to go it's ready for work uh, you're gonna spend more time using it less time setting it up um the uh the front diamond plate up here that's something a lot of lightweights ha have been dropping off i've noticed that's a big thing to talk about it helps keep the trailer looking ding free all this fun by the way under 6100 pounds this is a good lightweight unit extremely half ton towable perfect rig for a half ton um, this also, I love this little pocket here. I call this dad's tool chest. This is sweet. Not only does it give you some easy access to some of your little water lines and whatnot right behind this little access panel, but it's the perfect place to keep extra tools or like your wheel chocks or like uh, boards to put under your tires for leveling. It is so handy. Um, the, the camper could use a little bit of an outside bath as you can see here, but big deal what used camper couldn't really almost any used camper you say odds are if you have a used camper it could probably use a bath too um not to mention this thing has been here for five six minutes at this point i saw it come in and ran straight out here because this is a good selling model and it's hard to get used jaco's and they don't last long because people know that it's a good quality unit that is built for long-term ownership and uh you know when we get one in they just get gobbled up real fast what really defines the white hawk is this is a full deep slide ultralight a lot of lightweights have 18 inch um smaller slides this is a full true deep slide just like you get in a fifth wheel or it's it's conventionally built j flight cousin um the roof ladder up here goes up to the fully walkable magnum trust uh reinforced jaco roof long story short it holds like 4,500 pounds or something silly, like 300 pounds per square foot. It is awesome. It is one of the best roofs out there in the lightweight uh, segment. Uh, again, easy push button power awning and jacks. Uh, we have all aluminum wheels, so they're always gonna look shiny and good. And they are a wide stance axle system. What that means is these axles are spread nine extra inches apart. That's gonna give you more stability and it's gonna keep the trailer uh, less inclined to wiggle behind your truck so when you get blasted by the headwind the trailer doesn't sweep sideways quite nearly as bad it's going to help stay uh, true and straight another thing worth mentioning something that you can't just pick up from a still photo and it's really just experience helps me look for these is the fact that this door is bigger they have a bigger door in their in their jaco travel trailers than just about any other brand and it just makes it easier coming and going especially if you're grilling off this bumper mounted grill kit that's still included in this nice to use camper um you know when you got your platter full of burgers and brats you don't want to have to you know, try to tilt it or walk sideways through a door standard bigger handle for walking in and out as well let's hop inside here i did notice and i have seen this more than once Previous owners had removed the little screen door clip, but you see that they didn't rip it out of the door. The screws are still there. They just simply removed it. Um, I didn't see that hardware anywhere in the camper. That being said, that's basically a 90 cent fix. You know, not, not a big deal whatsoever. Um, I specifically left off all the lights in the camper 
so that you could see with the big windows that are in here, you know, it is still plenty bright, plenty comfortable. Um, let's, uh, let's just start working our way around. I've always liked the appointments and the accents and the colors in the White Hog. And again, giant windows. And your window's open for ventilation. You can get some excellent cross breeze going on in here. Um, this looks like the, uh, the hide bed Airbed series Jayco was using for a little while. I haven't looked around to see if the, the mattress is still there. I'll have to do a little more looking or just give us a call and we can verify that kind of stuff for you. But again, I mean, everything's in great shape. Your fabrics are not wore out. Your upholsteries are not broken down. You don't see, uh, you know, where the cushions have been wore out. There's, there's all kinds of life left in everything here. Um, we also have easy, easy access storage spaces to under the dinette here. And notice that everything is real wood. You're not looking at particle board and OSB. They won't use that material at Jayco on, on this kind of product. They just don't. Um, but one of the cool parts, by the way, about the airbed, something nobody seemed to talk about much, is the fact that Jayco's, oh, there it is, check that out, problem solved, but, uh, Jayco's airbeds also have this full, uh, storage area here, and that's something that, uh, a lot of height bed sofas used today simply don't have. Uh, twin chairs in the back here. Now your two rear chairs tend to get the most use and uh, Usually what I do is I look at the arms because people tend to really wear these arms out and again These this things in great shape guys All original owners manuals present and accounted for that's something I look for in my experience It's a guide not a Bible But people who keep track of their owners manuals keep better care of their campers because they they know that everything belongs in a place everything has a home and they keep it there um the uh rear living rooms often have crap for kitchen space this one they did utilize every square inch that they could and i love that they gave you just easy access to the water pumps sometimes it's really tough you have to be a contortionist to get some of these water pumps um big cabinets here too and i love the styling the just the way the, the three-dimensional nature they put these cabinets together to me is really sharp and just to give you an idea how big this is here you know i mean even the the microwave tray is clean so they obviously didn't keep their camper dirty so that that microwave tray is about the size of a dinner plate right that's a big cabinet that's a very big cabinet it's really nice to have that and those two like little led spotlights here in the kitchen stuff like that is cool i love seeing that especially all the extra countertop space here they did extend and bulge out the countertop to really give you lots of room here to work with and i do love that they have a hidden control panel so if grandkids or, or your friends come over and their kids want to push buttons this stuff is up where they can't get to it plus it's hidden away where it's kind of hard to get to anyway um this little uh, 12 volt charging pocket right here is cool because you can bring your car charger from your truck, plug your phone in and leave it charging right there. You can sit in your lounge chair and never miss a beat because your phone is literally just stand up and grab it. It's always conveniently located. Um, I talked about the big deep super slide. We've looked at the upholsteries. I'm just making a mental list as we go here. Um, central AC, that is something that not every lightweight trailer has. That is something I need to point out. Um, it's, it's, it's a dumb thing. But the fact that they're actually using metallic inserts here and not plastic, stuff like that adds up. You know, that's a dollar more on your product, but now you've got something you can actually use magnets on. That's pretty cool too. Um, RCA, name brand, high def television. Uh, and notice too, this is mounted on a swing arm. They were doing this at Jayco way before a lot of people. So this TV can fit anywhere. So even if you're the guy sitting in this corner of the dinette, there is no bad seat in the house. Let's say you're you're home alone for a little bit. Um, one of you is out cooking or uh, fishing, and the other is here in the kitchen cooking, standing at the sink. Everybody gets a good look at the TV. There's no bad seat in this house, and you don't have to lug along extra electronics because it's all built in. DVD, CD, everything right there. Um, one of the things I love about this floor plan, and what I think has made it so successful, is the fact that first of all, we don't have a travel trailer tub with a big step up. We have a fifth wheel shower with a big old skylight. So even without the lights on, again, we are getting lots of light in here. And again, look how clean this is. People often won't seem to clean their tubs and their showers. And the folks that do, the folks that keep those cleaned out, again, in my experience, take the best care of their campers. It's just, it's one of those things where the one tends to be related to the other. They are giving you bigger cabinets here in a Jayco. This is about 12 extra inches deep. This is just a massive linen cabinet. You can keep all your extra towels, blankets, sweatshirts in here. In case you're wondering, these are dryer sheets and that's actually a good thing to find. Um, 
dryer sheets work is critter prevention. Critters don't like the smell of uh, dryer sheets, basically. It does the same thing as mothballs without that mothball smell. And uh, it's, it's good to see because that's another indicator. These people knew how to take care of their camper and they did a good job of it. Sliding privacy door here for the bedroom so we can fully privatize and close this too. And I like the seclusion of this floor plan. Uh, wardrobe, hanging wardrobes on both sides of the trailer. The one over here is extra large. Remember, we have a mini fridge down here, so they did need to make this cabinet a little bit bigger. Walk around queen bed, easy to get around, plenty of space around here. And you notice that there's uh, central heat in this RV as well, all the way through the floor. Now, another just testament to the quality of people that we had here, a lot of folks, once they install a TV bracket in a bedroom or something like that, They'll, they'll take it out of a used camper, and that always leaves these big scars in the wall. They didn't do that here. They didn't want to leave this thing looking scarred up. Um, even when they traded it off, they were still proud of this RV. So you literally just have to grab a TV and just uh, four little screws, and you're good to go. You don't even have to worry about finding studs. Somebody did that for you. And that's kind of what I mean. This thing still has the grill. It still has the owner's manuals. The fabrics aren't ripped up. Uh, you got a TV bracket. The original electronics are present. Everything is good to go. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun.